Hello, welcome back. Southern ribeye steak, you hear me? Southern ribeye steak. This one, I marinated for 48 hours. If you want to see how I marinated this baby, click down in the title of this video, click on it, and you're going to see a link that's going to show you how I marinated this steak. Anyway, I'm going to cook this in the, on the cast iron, and I'm going to have a side of potato fries as well as some fried eggs. Right now, I had that baby outside the refrigerator, and I'm going to let it to reach, reach room temperature for about 30 minutes. While that happens, I'm going to go and change to my cooking gear. So go nowhere. Let's create. I marinated this baby for 48 hours. You heard me, 48 hours. And I have a video that shows you how to marinate this perfectly. It's a very short video. Hit the title of this video here that I'm showing you right now, and you're going to see a link in the description. That's how you find the description. So I put in the title. And look at this baby. Isn't that beautiful? And this ribeye, which been marinated for 48 hours, smells delicious right now. It's relatively thick, about one and one eighth of an inch. And it's about to start, I am about to start, but before you start for this kind of beauty and tasty food, you uh, develop your own butter mix. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now. This is the butter mix, how the beautiful it is and nice. It's going to add that extra flavor when you are cooking this baby. So I'm going to show you in a minute or two how to how I prepare this. Some steaks and some pieces of beef require a particular butter mix and I'm going to create my own. And here what I do is I got a some unsalted butter. Put in a little container. Smash it a little bit so start breaking down, you know. Just a little bit, you don't go too crazy for now. And what you do is you start adding some ingredients. So what I add is a little bit of black pepper. I like just a little bit. Tiny bit of salt. And I have here some thyme and some fresh oregano, both for them are fresh. Add them there. Mix things up a little bit. I have some saffron, which is optional. This one is Spanish saffron. You can use any saffron, whatever you find in the store. This one I imported. So just a few strings. Break it out, put it there. Mix things up a little bit. And finally, grab uh, some um, garlic, a couple of teeth, not a whole lot. You can see there, maybe one tooth might be sufficient. And then what you do is mix things up. That's it. 
Now you have your bottom mix for your steak. So high heat, and I have my trusty, see high heat, I have my trusted large gas iron. And this stuff is hot because I typically what I do is I put a high heat and I let it heat for two minutes. Sometimes a minute to two. Don't believe me? Put a little bit of water, evaporate immediately. For the non say not naysayers, I say, oh, do you cast iron every hot? Yeah, sit down on it and you will see. So let's start by adding a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. I'm going, I'm going with this one today. Just a little bit, you cannot, you don't have to go crazy. Just a little bit. And you're going to come. And you're going to take some of the stuff out of the steak. You know, like those big chunks that I was marinating with it. The other stuff can stay. You have the baby. Woohoo! You're going to put this baby, and the time you're going to invest cooking this to the, uh, I mean, you want it medium, medium rare, whatever. It's going to depend of the pan. I have cast iron and the type of stove. If it's electrical gas, if you're using wooden, other things play a factor. You can always feel it and use your hand as a measurement. A lot of people love to cook Steak, what they call blue hair, rare. Anybody can do that. What it takes skills, real skills, is to cook a steak medium rare. If you take it out too fast, it's rare, it's uncooked, not to your taste. And if you cook it a few seconds too long, it take it to the next step, which is probably born or medium. So medium rare takes skill. And I have my own technique. So based on this size, I'm going to give it about three to four minutes in one side before I flip it, okay? Time to turn it around. See how dark. What I do is I turn it around. Now it's time to add some of the butter mix. My put the time now back on top. Pull some of the baby out. So the butter. Oh yeah. And do that for like a couple minutes. 